Collecting blues, bass blues from two yeah, countries in lot. Africa. So, Shingo, you tell us about it. Okay. Um, so, metal, metals, um, legal words in Africa just seem to continue. It's almost like they're in the news every week. Every other week, yeah. Yeah. So, this time around in Kenya, um, they are being barred from hiring another person, another, uh, what I call it, service provider. Oh, they want, content. they want the, ke- um, the Kenyans want the case. Something like that. So it's, it's an ongoing case. And oh. they are being banned from hiring the New different contract. companies. Yeah. So now the court has already said you can't hire, like these guys can't work for you anymore. So they are now they have to wait until the court case is all over. Mm. Basically, uh, they are content moderation jobs or partner in Kenya is... Now they can't hire because the court has stopped them. But they still have employees, and according to them, they are incurring expenses by paying these employees. Mm-hmm. I think they were all on a paid leave. So they're incurring expenses by paying employees, even though they're not, working. Though they are not working. Mm-hmm. And moving to South Africa, it's, it's not the same thing. This, this time it's, it's like an anti competitive um, suit. So Kenya is being, sorry, Meta is being accused of anti competitive practices where it is it's pulling off a service from using its uh, API. So GovChat is the name of the company, and it's accusing Meta of pulling pulling it off the uh, WhatsApp API database in order to offer a similar service. So I was checking GovChat's website, and um, the they currently have about nine million users. And what they just do is connect gov- government and citizens. So like a bridge between the government and the citizens. So um it's i don't know it's, it's kind of gov tech yeah it's kind of gov tech so i guess you can send messages to government officials and vice versa so mm-hmm. they uh, they are already serving nine million people and meta is saying you guys have been flouting our rules so it's time to get out and they are saying no it's not the reason you are uh, you're kicking us out we're doing it because we want to launch a similar service and now compete directly with us or deal directly with the government. I mean, WhatsApp already has the API, so it doesn't really cost them a lot to do that. So that's their, that's the state of their um, lawsuits now. I will not go well for them. I mean, it's something, something the government uses, right? Yeah. yeah it's not like necessarily government. Well, it use. helps, it connects government to the people, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And they've, I mean, 9 million people already doing that, mm-hmm. already using them for that. So, think that, that company has the upper hand yeah uh, and i think going by the legal suits that has been that have been raised um against meta these past few months in africa i don't know it's looking anyone that will not cost them money they just let it go <laughs> <laughs> actually this one is going to cost them money because the commission that they've been that they are standing before is recommending that they be filed find 10% of the annual revenue. So Oof. that's a lot of money for you to... And I guess they are going to fight to the very end to ensure that... Again, I wish Meta the best. <laughs> okay, 